Hey everyone, today we're gonna do a video with 876 products. We're using their Coffin XXL tips. And I really do like these tips. I like these tips better than my not polished tips. Um, yeah, I'm hella ashy. Let me go ahead and put some oil right there. Okay, cause I'm too damn ashy. <laughs> ah. But anyways, yes, these tips are very nice. These are some very nice tips. We're using Malia. And we're using the 876 monomer. And we're using the number 12 Kalinsky brush. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Because I'm going to go ahead and keep it real from the beginning. This little set was about to kick my ass. <laughs> and I meant it just like I said it. Um, it. It's just that when I did those swatches, I already told you guys that the monomer was a fast setting monomer I could tell while I was doing the swatches because it was drying up so quick. Well, guess what? Yes, it's definitely fast setting because first of all, um, I don't know if a lot of you know, but I'm not really used to doing my own hand because I wear press-ons, custom press-ons, and I put them on with the Beatles glue and leave them on for weeks or whatever. But I, I'm used to doing other people's nails, but just not my own nails in acrylic. I probably did my own nails like maybe five, six times with acrylic. So I'm very new to doing my own hand. So I'm getting used to that already. So to have a fast setting monomer in my hand, it was it was giving me a run for my money, as you guys can see, like um, up towards the um, beginning um, up there um, on that pinky. You could tell that it was starting to set up so quick. I didn't even have a chance to really smooth that bead out, that first bead, the way I wanted to. But I did get to get it smoothed out, but still not the way I wanted to. So automatically then, I was ready to stop. I was ready to say, you know what? I'm not going to record this. But you know what? I had to remember and remind myself that this is a beginner nail tech channel. So there's no reason for me to hide my mistakes. There's no reason for me to not show the people where I went wrong or what was giving me a hard time. Because that's what is, this channel is about. The good, the bad, the ugly, all that, all that. So therefore, I kept going, guys. But this monomer is not to be played with. If you're a beginner and you want to test yourself and see as you get in the hang of acrylic nails, try this monomer. <laughs> because it's it's just it, and it. But the crazy thing is that I had both of my daughters in the room with me. Neither one of them knew when I had the um, monomer open and had poured or anything. That's how good the smell was so hands down it is the only monomer i have used that i can really say that this is true to the name low odor so i definitely give it that hands down i will also say that this monomer would be good for acrylic flowers because i see a lot of people like add acetone and stuff like that um to their monomer for their acrylic flowers you ain't gotta do none of that with this just pour it in the damn dapping dish and get to doing your flowers. <laughs> it's that simple. But um, I'm thankful for this monomer because it allowed me to push myself. And I like that. I don't want to feel like I'm only going to be able to do certain things and deal with certain products. I want to be able to get around to being able to handle and do any and everything. So that's what this monomer was doing for me. It was testing my skills. It was testing me to say to see was I really ready for a fast setting monomer. And I was very discouraged, like, those first couple nails. But um, by the third nail, I started telling myself, just relax. You got this. You know, just just do it, you know. Hey, that's the point of, you know, practice, you know. So um, I kept going with it, and I'm definitely, definitely going to get more of it because now I feel like I'm going to keep trying myself with this monomer because I feel like this monomer is also – a, a teaching item i feel like the more you practice with this monomer if you can deal with a fast setting monomer like this you're going to be able to deal with anything like s some slower setting monomer is going to be nothing for you you're going to sculpt the hell out of it if you can deal with this so like i said i think that this is a great learning tool but if you're a beginner 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 like you just starting to even touch um acrylic i would say definitely go for the 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 powders the nail tips but i would hold off on the monomer until you're ready to start testing yourself after you done practice for a while with some slower setting monomer but if you're having problems with dealing with um doing nails at home and you can't do it because of the smell then you need to go ahead and get this monomer 
and just go ahead and teach yourself with a fast setting monomer and that ain't gonna do nothing but make you a beast because if i was a person sitting at home and i wanted to do nails but my family said oh you can't do nails because the smell is too bad but i can get this monomer because they don't smell it but it's fast setting so it pushes me too quick then guess what I'm going to get my butt in there and I'm going to use this monomer until I'm able to deal with it and handle it and come up with the perfect powder to ratio to help me be able to, you know, deal with it or whatever it's going to be. I'm not, if, if I can get this monomer and it doesn't have a bad smell and no one can really smell it, but the only downfall is that it sets real quick, then I'm just going to teach and train myself how to use this monomer, even though it sets fast. Um, because like, that's what it was for me. It was a big learning curve for me. Um, I think, um, nail to the hustle said this monomer made her step her game up. I think that's the word she used on the, um, unboxing I did, but that's what it did for me. Cause baby, look, even right here, look at that. I had to peel that off. I had to hurry up and grab that off. Like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, <laughs> and see what it was. I think my bead was even too dry right there. So I had to, you know, go in with a wetter bead. And by that, by by my thumb, I was getting to the point where, so I was like, okay, I know how I'm going to have to deal with this monomer. You know, I'm going to have to use wetter beads. I'm going to have to be quick. And, you know, so like I said, it's all, it's, it's all a learning curve. But the thing is, it, it, it was a good thing for me. Um, I was happy I kept going that I didn't give up because by the time I got done, I was like, oh, I'm going to use this again because I'm about to do another set <laughs> because I like the fact that it was pushing me. It's something that the drilling of it pushing me that that I liked it because I'm like if I can use this monomer and this fast setting I'll be able to do all types of stuff because you know I'm not I'm I'm not scared of this monomer because this stuff was setting fast as hell I ain't gonna even lie to y'all but like I said for acrylic flowers it's definitely it would be perfect for that but um like I said I love this color I don't know, for some reason, every time I look at it, it was giving butter pecan. Like, <laughs> I don't know why the hell I feel like it was giving butter pecan. But overall, I love, I love, love the um, the powder. It's, it's great. Um, it's smooth. Um, the brush, I can't give 100% um, review on the brush yet, but it did do great. Um, what I can say is I think that the the brush itself, the bristles are way more fuller than the brushes that I have. The brushes I have, they not they're not as full as this brush. This brush is definitely real full. Um, so yeah, I don't know um how different people like their brushes or whatever, but this brush is definitely very full. And um it was definitely getting the job done. Um it worked very well with me. Um I liked it it being full from the monomer being so fast setting when I needed to hurry up and just smash and push down on that bead to make sure it wasn't um drying too quick. Um that brush was perfect for that. So it was like allowing me to really just push down on it, you know, and put that pressure on it and everything from it being so full. So yeah, guys. Yeah, your girl was scurred. <laughs> 876 Monomer had her scurred. <laughs> but like I said, I'm definitely getting more because I'm like, okay, I love, I'm not going to lie. I love the fact that I can hardly smell it. I'm talking about working right up close to it. And, and the smell wasn't bothering me, not at all. I'm talking about the girls didn't smell it. My husband, well, my husband is petty, 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 petty. He, oh, it stinks, it stinks. He didn't find anything wrong with this monomer he didn't he didn't even smell it until i brought it to his attention and he said oh i smell it a little bit that's a winner for me all along and i know tons of people that struggle with can't do nails at home and stuff like that because of the smell of monomer so i will automatically 100 percent hands down say this is the most i've ever ever saw a monomer that could say that they are low odor i i, I really smelt little to no smell that's how good it was so that alone is going to make me want to train myself to be able to handle this monomer um far as it being fast setting um the tips they glued on so easily um even my not polished tips they like when i be gluing them on and i use young nails brush on glue they be acting like they don't want to stick sometimes but these um tips they stuck right in place i love the shape of them um so i'm definitely going to be ordering these more for my clients because that's what pretty much mostly all my clients use is the xxl um coffin so i love the tips 
the powder, the brush is nice. We'll go ahead and keep using that for a few more sets before I can really give a, um, you know, a full review on the um, brush and everything. But the brush did do me good. I didn't get any monomer. I mean, I didn't get any acrylic powder stuck into it or anything like that. You know, everything wipe off um, pretty good. It holds beautiful beads and all of that. So by the time I got to this thumb, I was feeling like, Okay, you can do this. You on you on you on the thumb now. You know you on the thumb. <laughs> Cause baby, this 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 what this this wasn't no easy peasy. This wasn't no walk in the park. It was it was, it was, it tested me, and I was I'm so thankful for this because, like, I feel like if I would have quit, then I would have been feeling real bad because I'm not a quitter. We go by in this house, never give up, never give in. So I was like, I'm going to do this set. I don't care what it come out, how it come out or whatever, but I'm not going to quit. So even if you're a beginner and regardless of it, if it's um, acrylic powder you're having troubles with or filing, whatever it is that you're having troubles with, don't quit. Because all you can do is keep practicing and get perfect at it. I mean, it ain't no losing as long as you keep practicing. So keep going at it. Don't quit. So by the time I got to this thumb, things were starting to get a little better. But as you can see, if you're paying attention, that first bead I had laid, it was drying so quick that... And see, I like to, when I lay that first bead down, I like to go ahead and smash the top of it before I even start bringing the bead down. Because I want to make sure that, you know, everything laying smooth. Because my whole idea be to try to get the um, application smooth as possible. That'd be my whole goal. When I start laying acrylic, I'd be like, okay, I need this application to be smooth as possible. Cause if it's smooth as possible, that means less filing. <laughs> so yeah, by the time I got to the thumb, I was feeling better about myself. Again, the brush did me well. I didn't have anything getting stuck in it. I didn't even have to change my monomer or anything like that. So yeah, but I love the color. I think this is a color that a lot of people would choose to draw on. I think that you're going to use this color a lot. Matter of fact, it's on sale. It's called Malia, and it's on sale for $10 for a one ounce, and I think it's $13 for the two ounce right now. So um, I think this is a color that a lot of um, people will automatically go to because it's a perfect nude to use and draw on and do all types of stuff like that on. Um, but, yeah, so as you can see, I'm still trying to, Make sure everything nice and even as I'm laying this acrylic. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I got through it. But look, I ain't going to lie. I was like, oh, hell no. My, my foundation ain't as smooth as it normally be. But it still was good for me to be trying a faster setting monomer. So I will honestly say that 876, this is a definitely a faster setting monomer. But if you're a beginner and you've been doing nails for a minute, get some. Push yourself. See where you really at in the game. Because <clears throat> even my girl, um, Nail to the Hustle, she said sh this made her step her game up because she had to keep up with it. This some this some fast setting monomer. But I could appreciate it. But um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this file. As you can see, I need the file in there because it's not as smooth as I want it to be. So I'm going to take my 876-8080 grit file that came with my um large kit. And I'm going to start roughing these things up and filing them. And I didn't have to do a whole lot of filing. I didn't. But I think it's just that I've been dealing with foundation, foundation, foundation lately. So my biggest thing been to be able to make my foundation so nice that I only need to hit the sides and the um, free edge and buff. And with this, I needed to file the top a little bit. But that was fine because... Um, the moral of the story is I didn't give up. So I am very thankful and glad about that. And that gave me energy and strength to keep going on. I'm going to do another set and I'm going to use that monomer again <laughs> because fast and set and monomer make me keep up and make me speed up. And if I'm speeding up, then I'm getting sets done quicker. And if I'm getting sets done quicker, then that's good for me. So I don't feel like you can't go wrong. So, yeah. I definitely um, went on and um, filed these real good. And the files, they, they definitely were real nice and um, real nice and strong. They went on and got the job done. I didn't have to file for a long time. They went on and started breaking everything down pretty quick. And um, it was real easy for me once I started uh, filing them. I started filling them a little bit more. 
but they still gave me gave me a run for my money. <laughs> I keep saying that because y'all, I, I I'm used to like slower setting modern where I can be la 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 la. Life is but a shoe. Not with that. <laughs> it was more like you better hurry up and get the going. God damn it! Like <laughs> so, I'm 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 glad. I'm glad because I feel like uh, that's a way to test your skills. I don't care what nobody say. If you can keep up with a fast setting monomer like this, that's a way to test your skills. Because, you know, if you used to laying bees and laying acrylic and stuff, you're going to be like, hey, I'm about to still lay this stuff out. And A76 on her channel, she do real good. <laughs> so so she she know what she be doing. So, yeah, I took the little um, sanding bit, the little fine sanding bit, and smoothing it out and everything. So we smoothing that out pretty good. And then I'm just, I'm, I'm not even using this for my cuticle, but I was just still smoothing around the cuticle a little bit. So I'm just going in and sanding a little bit with that to try to get everything nice and smooth. Because really, I just wanted to see that nice, smooth surface because I had a couple bumps, a couple lumps in a couple of the nails. And I just want to make sure that I no longer could see that. Um, but like I said, that was all because, you know, I wasn't moving quick enough on some of the beads that I was dropping. Or I was not having enough liquid in my brush. So after doing all that, I already filed the free edge and the sides and everything. I'm finna take that out, put my five and one bit in, and I'm finna hit these cuticles and get them laying a little nicer than what they are. Make sure they nice and crisp. I feel like it's something so satisfying about doing the cuticles. I don't know what it is. Like that'd be my satisfying part. I love to see the cuticle just look nice and, and cute. Like <laughs> I love, that's my favorite part, I think. My favorite part is doing the cuticles. I love um, going around the cuticles and making sure everything crispy up in there. But yeah, guys, so this was a fun set. It was probably my most challenging set. And then, like I said, I'm new to doing my own nails. So that makes it even um, more complicated that I was using a faster setting monomer and doing my own hand. So I was like, okay. Well, if I want to be great, I got to do this stuff. I can't run from it. So it is what it is. But yeah, we was just getting these cuticles put in place, y'all. Meantime, y'all know my ankle broke. <laughs> so I was getting a little frustrated. Like my little ankle was throbbing and stuff. <laughs> so now we just buffing. I'm just buffing the nails out a little bit with the harder side. And then I'm going to go back and smooth them with the smoother side. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my um, swipe and wipe these things down real good. I love this color. Malia, this is a great color. I love this color because I love a pretty nude. And I feel like it looks so good on my complexion. And don't talk about my little skinny nails, y'all, because they my little skinny fingers. They is just so thin. But, yeah, so now after these dry, I'm going to go ahead and get these top coated. Because of what I'm going to do, I want to go ahead and have um, the rest of the nail that's not going to be exposed um, already top coated. So I'm going in and top coat these nails. I'm using my eye gel top coat. Yeah, I thought about doing matte, but because of the look I was going for, I'm like, nah. But one thing about eye gel top coat, y'all, it is shiny as hell. I don't know. We're going to have to do a battle of the shiniest top coat. And I think I'm going to put eye gel to the challenge not polished, gloss it to the challenge. Madam Glam top coat. Um, who else do I got? Um, Lisette. I think Lisette. She does hard. She does hard gel. I have I have her top coat, and I think Edenel Couture. We're gonna do at least we're gonna do a battle of the top coats one day because I want to see what you guys think and what's the shiniest. Oh yeah, and Cooper can't leave out Cooper. But yeah, I like Cooper matte. But yeah, guys. So. Right now, as you can see, to me, like, my apex a little more thicker than I normally like it being. But but a lot of people, like, like their apex a little thicker. But So I took a little base coat after those top coat had dried. I put a little base coat on the tip of the nails. And then I'm using this chrome powder. So I'm taking this chrome powder and I'm doing it, like, as if it's an ombre. I'm going in on all the nails as if it's an ombre. On each nail, I'm going, like, I'm not, like, measuring where I'm stopping that. I'm just doing it. I want it to be, like, you know, just freehand. I'm just putting it in, rubbing it in real good. 
And this is some chrome powder that I got from Amazon a while ago. I can link it. I think it came with like so many of them, but they work very well. I think it was like 20 something of them in a pack. But um, this color with this gold, this this nude acrylic powder with this gold was, was gorgeous. And this not all we're going to do with it. So after I put that gold in there, we're going to... Um, take that i'm trying to wash my hand off so yeah we're going to put that gold chrome powder to the side and now we're going to take b knees these called b knees it's a um holographic glitter by madam glam called b knees and i'm just putting that on the tips i'm not putting it all the way where the chrome is at as you can see i'm just putting it on the tips and then um it's not you can see how far i'm going up i'm not going up as far as the chrome is because i want the chrome and the um the holographic um glitter to do its own thing but to still combine and blend together at the same time so then i'm gonna take my little um my little tiny um brush after i get through making sure that this glitter is in the spots that i want it in i'm gonna take my little tiny liner brush and i'm just gonna drag a little of the glitter so it looks like more of an ombre look so it look like it's just seamlessly falling in there so it go from the nude acrylic to the chrome, to the glitter. So that's the type of look I was going for. Then we're going to put it in a lamp and dry it. So this is what we come out with. So it go from chrome to glitter, the nude to chrome to glitter. I kind of liked it that. I really could have left them like this because I did like the way that looked. But we're going to take these like beige looking pearls, um, flat pearls, and we're going to put them um, in different spots on the nails. I'm using my McCart um, rhinestone glue. So yeah. I'm just popping those in place. I like these because they're different sizes and I didn't want a, one particular size. I wanted them to be like, you know, just here and there, you know, different ones. Because I have a gorgeous ring that's pearls too that you'll see towards the end. So it looked real pretty with this set. It's something about having a pretty piece of jewelry or something on when you get through with a set. I just, I'm one of those people like I love to try to, you know, make stuff look even better like. I guess I grew up, uh, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So when something finished, I like to offset it and pop a piece of jewelry in with it if I can. You'll notice on a lot of my videos and stuff, I always put little jewelry on and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to dry those in a lamp. But look, at this point, I was like, whew, we made it. <laughs> the storm is over now. <laughs> For real, because... I was so discouraged in the beginning because I couldn't, I was trying to control that um, monomer because it was fast setting, but everything started to look pretty good. And I was like, okay, we still got through this. Okay. We still got through this. So I'm glad that I'm still laughing guys. Cause you just don't understand. I know if anybody know who do nails and you done got a fast setting monomer and you trying to do nails and that mug hardening up on you and you like, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. I ain't moving fast enough. But I'm excited because tonight I think I plan on doing another set um, with the monomer and see how easier it is for me this time. Because I think I got my powder to ratio down, my uh, liquid um, my liquid to powder ratio down for how I want to use for this specific monomer. But yeah, so... The nails were coming along cute. We got the nude and we got the little beige color like pearls and everything. Putting them on. So these, I think they'd be pretty nails for an event. Or they're pretty nails for any time. I feel like you don't need no certain time for no nails to be this or that. God damn it. Slay whenever you want to slay. You want some extra, do it. It don't matter when it is, what it is, what day it is. Hell, you know, we don't, we don't never need no certain time to be fabulous anyway. So yeah, I'm drying that in the in the lamp using my Kiera Sky Beyond Pro lamp. I don't know about that lamp though. I think I'm about tired of that lamp. I think I'm finna give me something that stay charged longer. It's a good lamp. I just don't feel like it stay charged long long enough. But yeah, I'm gonna try that. Um, I think uh, nail to the hustle. I think she had the. Um, I'm gonna have to check with her and see how that um, eye gel lamp doing for her because it looked like it's much bigger. And I like that bigger look, especially for girls who be wanting them long nails. So, yep, guys, I'm down to putting my pearls on my last finger. We made it. <laughs> I got this set done. Shout out to 876. Their products are great. 
definitely check them out and make sure you use the code NY2. Um, that's um, nail to the hustle code. So make sure you use that. The um, N2. H, I mean, <laughs> N to H. You want to use that for to get your money off um, the uh, products from 876. So, yeah, go ahead and um, check out um, Nail to the Hustle channel as well. But I'm sure you have if you're checking out mine. But look, guys, this is what we came up with. Look how pretty that ring is with that set. Okay? We did it. <laughs> we did it, y'all. But I was, like, feeling these nails. I love the way the chrome play its part and then it go into the glitter holographic glitter and then we got the pearls so i think you know we started off at a rough place but we still got through it and i really love the way the set came out guys i really did i think it came out gorgeous and you know i'm glad i kept going i'm glad i didn't quit because i was looking at them and playing with them like okay I, this this color though this nude is definitely a good nude i feel like um i'm gonna have to buy another jar of this because i know a lot of my clients like this type of nude so i'm definitely gonna have to pick up that nude but thank you guys so much until next time i want you guys to just go check out 876 go check out nail to the hustle and i